All right, you guys, so we're working with a resistance loop today. We're gonna start on our mat with those squats. We're gonna stand with those feet about four inches apart in parallel, and that loop is right at the base of our quads. Grow nice and tall through the crown of the head as you start to send your breath down to your tailbone. Take a deep inhale to prepare, and on your exhale, we're gonna crease at the hips. Reach those sitting bones down and back, and we're gonna hold that first squat nice and low. Beautiful. Now, finding a little bit of outbound intention against that resistance loop, can you find all four corners of your feet melting into the floor nice and evenly? Beautiful. You should feel that your sitting bones kind of want to separate a little bit. They're kind of reaching away from each other. And the belly is drawing up and in. Beautiful, you guys. Now, on your next inhale breath, we're going to imagine stepping our bones through the floor as we draw our muscle pants up. Exhale like you're trying to sit in an imaginary chair behind you. Inhale every time we rise. Exhale, sitting bones separate, inner thighs spiral outbound, and we're maintaining that engagement into that blue band this morning as we start to warm up the body. <sighs> Inhale as we rise. Exhale as we send it back. Every time you come up to stand, I want that full extension through the hip and the knee, so we're not locking out the knee joint. We're imagining that kneecap is buoyant, those knees floating up into the quadriceps. Beautiful. Now, careful not to shorten the low back here. I want you to imagine the low belly is sort of like a little hot spatula, and we're trying to draw the organs away from that hot spatula towards the back of the spine. Two more just like this, you guys. Starting to feel that heat building on your next one. Hold it nice and low. Hold it here. Beautiful. We're going to sweep our right arm down, around, rib basket rotates, fingertips reach apart. Sweep it back forward on the exhale. Inhale, left fingertips sweep down and around, reach it apart. And then inhale, exhale those arms back to start. Take this at your own pace. Now here's what I'd like you to check as you work. Make sure that as you rotate, the hips are not rotating with you. See if you can keep that pelvis absolutely stable. So as you rotate to the left, you almost have to think about that left hip coming forward just a little bit and plugging the right leg in to resist that urge to rotate the pelvis. Keep going here. Give me one more on each side. Take the time to even yourselves out. The next time your left arm goes back, that is the last time on that side. Meet me back at center, hold it here. Good, arms come out to airplane arms, hold. Now from here, we're gonna peel both heels up off the floor and melt them down with control. Peel them up and don't go all the way till they lock out at the very top. Just peel them up and keep a little bit of shaky shake to this work. Can you imagine this is coming Back of the inner thigh spiraling forward to peel those heels with intention. Good. Now checking in, is your navel still drawing in and up to that space between the shoulder blades? And can you find a stronger connection from your heart center to your sacrum? Two more just like this. Good. You guys waking up the body. Next time we peel it up, hold those heels if you can. Hold it here. Good. Lower down half an inch for me and hold. Lift from those sitting bones, just a quarter of an inch. Hold. Anybody else shaking like a mad dog? We're gonna lower down three quarters of an inch. Hold. Imagine it's your sitting bones narrowing to lift you up just two millimeters. Hold. Beautiful, you guys. Now from here, pulsing those outer thighs gently into that blue band, finding that outbound intention for four. Good, and three. Last two coming into a lunge next. Heels are gonna melt down, stand all the way up. Beautiful, allow that band to come down by your ankles now. Left foot is gonna step forward, and I want that band almost as low as it can go, right at the ankle joint, right at the top of the foot, okay? And then my right ball of foot is gonna come into that band, okay? Right ball of foot is gonna come into that band and I'm gonna step my right foot back behind me so that I have a lot of tension in that band, in that loop. And I'm gonna take a minute to scissor and square off my pelvis. 
Growing nice and tall through the crown of the head, arms overhead are optional. Take an inhale to prepare. On our exhale, we're gonna keep our shoulders right over our hips as we lower down. Inhale as we rise. Good. Now, why do we have that blue band there today? I want us to really focus on the flexion of our ankles connecting to the flexion in our hips. Okay, so as we lower down, your, uh, this guy right here, this bone right here, is gliding against your ankle bone. And that bone sort of draws back as the talus, the top of your foot, glides with it. And that blue band is really trying to help remind our body of this natural glide that's happening. Now the flexion at your ankle has to work in conjunction with the flexion of your hips. Now check in, are your hips opening up on the diagonal? Keep scissoring, imagine your left inner thigh plugging in and down, navel drawing in and up. We're here for three. Good, you guys, all the way to that full extension every time. Last two. If you've got those arms up overhead, see if you can melt your, stern sac your sternum down towards your sacrum. Hold it on your next one. Hold it nice and low. Beautiful, you guys. Now from here, imagine you're just trying to slide a single piece of paper under that left heel and then set it back down again. Just a single piece of paper, it's really tiny. I don't even have to see it, just so that you can feel that intention of weightlessness under that heel for three. Good, you guys, last two. Good, now keep that heel just barely hovering off the floor. We're gonna butterfly those inner thighs. I'm gonna turn to face you. Thinking about both inner thighs spiraling inbound, little butterfly, last four. Good, and three. Beautiful, coming onto our backs in two. And with control, stand all the way up and release the tension of that blue band. Take it now. We're gonna lie down onto our backs. And we're gonna take that blue band up around our thigh bones again. Okay, blue band around the thighs, above the knees, laying down flat on our backs. Go ahead and take your hands behind the head. We're gonna start with an abdominal curl. So first finding a nice neutral spine, length on the front and back side of the body. Take an inhale to hover the head and lengthen the crown of head up and back behind you as you melt the heart center down to the tailbone. On your next exhale, those legs are gonna float up into tabletop and give me a little opening into that blue band through those inner thighs. Now holding it here, it's gonna be an inhale. We're gonna imagine the back line of the legs lengthening them up and back, opening that blue band from the upper inner thighs and then softening at the knees on the exhale. Inhale, lengthen it up, open, exhale, close, and soften at the knees. Really imagining that there's sort of like a pulley system today. So as the legs extend up to the sky, the thigh bone is melting down into the pelvis as the hamstrings deliver the leg up. Good, as the knees bend, imagine the opposite happening. The, your thighs are, your, your quadriceps are lengthening as the back of the bone sinks down into the pelvis. Now, every time you go to open those legs up, it's not coming from the feet or the ankles. Can you guys really feel that it's coming from the upper inner thighs and those thigh bones are kind of tipping inbound into the pelvis to open the legs up. Two more just like this. Good, you guys, we're gonna add on two variations on this next one. Next time your legs go long, hold. Open up that blue band just a little bit for me, hold. Now, if it's accessible, on the inhale, both legs are gonna reach long and down. Exhale, sink the thigh bones in. If this is aggressive on your low back, bend the knees. Think about opening the front of the hips without changing the shapes of the knees and close it back up again, okay? So whichever option is accessible to you today, be careful not to let that low back peel up as the legs go away. If that is happening to you, try a smaller range of movement. Beautiful, now do you still have a little bit of an outbound intention into that blue band? Last three, 
Inhale into that low back for more interabdominal stability. Last two. Beautiful, you guys. On your next one, hold it at about 45 degrees and just give me a little open close into that blue band for four. Good, and three. Can you give me a deeper abdominal curl for two? With control, bring those knees back to tabletop and allow head, neck, and shoulders to come down. Let's hit that lunge on the other side. So coming up, your band is gonna come around the front of the right ankle this time. Your left foot, ball of foot, is gonna come into that strap. Okay, and take that loop as low on your foot as it'll go right at the base of your ankle. Step that left foot away from you, okay? It's not a huge uh, range of movement here. It's pretty small because that band is keeping us pretty tight together. We're gonna square off the pelvis. Imagine the upper inner thighs drawing up and in. Hands come up overhead if you'd like. It's an exhale to lower, keeping shoulders right over those hips and an inhale as we rise. Glance down. Knee should be staying in line with big toe, second toe on that front foot. And imagine your back knee just melting straight down to the floor. Good, and then that blue band reminding our shins to draw back just a little bit. It's a really subtle thing. You don't even have to tell your body to do it. The blue band is just giving your body a little tactile cue to find this natural bone rhythm of that talus glide happening here. Navel is drawing in and up. Every time those arms come up, can you melt your heart down to your sacrum a little bit more? Sometimes when our arms go up, we all want to kind of th thrust our chest forward and shorten the low back. So find a stronger connection of sternum to sacrum, keeping those shoulders over the hips. Last two like this. Scissor those inner thighs a little bit more. On your next one, hold it low. Hold it nice and low. Beautiful. Now from here, imagining that single piece of paper coming under that right heel, melting it down with control. Peeling it up very gently. Good, try not to overdo it. That sometimes less is more, yeah? Good, you guys. If arms up overhead are getting aggressive, take those hands into prayer. We're here for four. Good, you guys, last three. Beautiful, last two. Hold the next one with your heel, just that paper's width off of the floor. Butterfly those inner thighs, inner thighs spiral towards each other and back. Good, you guys, we're here for four. We're gonna come into a plie with that band around our forearms in two. And with control, standing all the way up, gently release that band. Good, bend down and pick it up. I'm gonna face the camera. We're gonna step into a nice wide turnout with those legs, about shoulder distance apart. Notice I wanted to go super wide. Bring it in a little bit if that's you too, okay? So it's not quite as extreme. We're gonna bring that band just below where you would wear your wristwatch, yeah? I've got my watch on today, so you can see. Bring it just below where your wristwatch would be. Crown of head reaches up to the sky, and we're gonna bring our elbows forward so you can almost look right under your band, yeah? Now engaging into that band just a little bit from between the shoulder blades. Take a deep inhale. On your exhale, we're gonna melt that tailbone straight down towards the floor. Hold your plie low. Hold it here. Notice we're not leaning forward today. We're trying to keep it upright. And I'm imagining that my elbows are sort of holding a little 90 degree bend. Beautiful, you guys. Hold it here. Now, right arm is going to reach open and away as the right shoulder blade glides towards the spine and bring it in. Notice it's tiny. Alternate to the left side. Good. Now, what happens here? as we work is that we have the tendency, elbows wanna flare out, fingertips wanna point in, yeah? Fight to keep those forearms absolutely parallel with each other. And think about this not coming from your wrist, not coming from your hand. Think about it coming from between the shoulder blades in the back. So as my right arm comes out to the side, it's like my right shoulder is trying to come closer to the spine and then the left fighting to keep that nice parallel position. Good, you guys, two more on each side. Navel is still drawing in and up. Can you melt your tailbone a little bit lower 
towards the floor. Notice if your elbows are coming down by the ribs. See if you can pick them back up again. Good, last time on the left, hold it in the center, hold it here. Inhale to extend both arms out forward, collarbones broad. Exhale, imagine as your fingertips draw up that your elbows are gonna be drawing forward away from your shoulder and your upper arm is stretching long. Beautiful, you guys, last three. If you'd like to kick this up a notch, peel both heels up off the floor, last two. Maybe lower down another half inch into your plie. Good, you guys, next time the arms go long, hold it here. P heels peel up if that's accessible to you. We're gonna butterfly both legs back towards the wall behind us for four. Good, and three. Beautiful, last two with control, standing all the way up. Beautiful, you guys. This blue guy or this resistance loop it's gonna go around the thighs for a few moves. We're not gonna be moving it up and down for a little bit, okay? So get it into position. If you have one that tends to really fold up on you, do your best to get it as flat as you can. Don't let it sidetrack you. If it starts to roll up, wait till the next move and try to fix it if you're able to, okay? Now from here, we're gonna go into a little skater. I'm gonna face you. Okay, we're gonna start with one nice deep squat. Feet are about shoulder distance apart. Hold it right here. We've got a lot of resistance in that loop. Shift your body weight over to the left slightly till you feel your left glute crease turn on. Beautiful, and it's an inhale as we step the right leg long, and an exhale as you drag it back in towards you. I'm gonna do this on the floor. Inhale to step it away, fully extend that leg, Exhale, feel that thigh bone spiral forward. So really finding that resistance in that loop. We're gonna add on to this. So the next time your right leg steps away, we're gonna rotate the rib basket up and to the left. Unwind back to center. Oh, there's my balance. Inhale as you step it away and rotate it around. Exhale to unwind. Usually I love to do this one with sliders, but for this, we're just barely picking our foot up off the floor, stepping it away and trying to find that full extension and rotating. As you rotate, imagine you're connected to a carousel pole. We're not just rotating. I don't want you to shrink the left side of your body. I want you to imagine you're rotating up and away as you step it out. So we're following this fascial line through the body Good, two more, just like that. On this next one, hold it in that rotation, hold it with that right leg long, deep in that rib rotation for tiny pulses, for four and three. Good, last two coming down into all fours. Unwind back to center. Bring it in, stand up nice and tall. Good, you guys coming down onto our mat, keep your band where it is. Hands are gonna come underneath our shoulders. Knees are gonna start underneath our hips. Right leg is gonna step up and back behind us into a little donkey kick, and then controlling it back down. Inhale, send more breath into the low back. Exhale to lower. Good, you guys, we're gonna add on, we're gonna add a lateral lift to the side. So we're gonna alternate between that donkey kick and a little straight line directly out to the right. Inhale to take it up and back. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale up and out to the side. Exhale, bring it in. Now, if you're feeling really good about this, you can try taking your left arm up and out into a little bird dog. Beautiful, you guys. Now. Notice when you go into your donkey kick up to the sky, the natural tendency is for that leg to kind of want to open out to the side, okay? Almost like a little fire hydrant pose, right? Instead, imagine that inner thigh spiraling up to the sky and fighting to keep that pelvis square as we work here. That's gonna find a lot more of that side body on the left side stabilizing us. Noticing if you're dumping into the left hip, can you imagine your left inner thigh like a pair of suspenders picking you up to square off that pelvis? 
Beautiful, you guys. Now the next time that leg comes up and back behind you into that donkey kick, hold. Inhale to extend the leg long. Exhale, creasing at the knee to bring that foot towards your sitting bones. Beautiful, keep that kneecap reaching out behind you and then flex the foot as it comes up to the sky. Point the toe to send it away. Flex the foot to bring it back up. Heart is still lifting up between those shoulder blades. We're here for three and two. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Did you guys hear my Alexa kick in? Whoops. <laughs> Next time that leg goes long, hold it here. Give me a tiny lift and lower from your seat. Crease for four and three. Last two and with control. Bring it in, so good. Let's lay down on our backs, okay? And we're gonna take that blue band now around the tops of our feet. Blue band around the tops of our feet. We're gonna go into some supine jumps. So, keeping those knees over hips, ankle in line with knees. On an inhale breath, we're gonna step our right leg out long, away from us on the diagonal. That left leg stays where it is. Exhale to bring it in. Inhale, left leg is gonna reach away. Exhale, sink that thigh bone in as you drag it in. Inhale, extend it out. Exhale, bring it in. Now, never losing tension in that loop, if at all possible. Okay, if you have a really loose resistance loop, if yours is not as tight as mine is, then you may find that it's asking you to go too wide, and that's okay. You can always bring that loop up to the thighs as well if this longer lever is aggressive, you guys. Okay, so work with what you've got at home today. That's totally fine. Can you feel your thigh bones sinking heavier into the pelvis? As the leg comes back to you each time, really imagine you're dragging it through jello. Good, you guys. Now adding on as the leg reaches away, rotate to the opposite thigh bone. Unwind back to center. Inhale, right leg reaches, rotate to the left. Beautiful. Whew. Find that carousel pull going right up your spine. And as you add this rib rotation, bottom left rib reaches across to the outer right hip. Okay, and the shoulder blade that's underneath you wraps around, out, and back. Last three. Beautiful, you guys, last two. Good, take the time to even yourselves out the next time you go to the left. That should be your last one. Bring it back to center with control. Legs come down to the floor and we're gonna come back onto all fours. So just scoot that band or that loop up around the thigh bones again, turning it around into all fours this time it's going to be the left leg that reaches up and back into our donkey kick flex that foot control it back in and then it alternates it comes out to the side for a lateral lift inhale it up and away exhale really imagine inner thighs drawing up as the leg comes back in towards you imagine those inner thighs are a part of that rope and pulley system that's drawing the thigh bone back up and in. I'm gonna turn to face you guys so you can see from the side. It's that donkey kick up to the sky and then taking it straight out to the side. The ankle goes with the knee. Inhale to take it up and back, good. Now everyone check in with your four point kneel. Can you open up the collarbones? Can you give me more breath in the elbows? so that the elbows are not locked out. Soften the elbows and find more connection of your triceps lifting up under your shoulders. That belly is drawing up and in. Beautiful, if you want that balance challenge, that right arm reaches out and away. Good, now whichever option you're choosing, don't let that belly tank down to the floor, don't let that low back give out on you, especially to give you more height. I'd rather we keep that lift of the belly and that neutral spine. Two more just like this, you guys. Good, you guys. Next time that leg comes up into your donkey kick, we're gonna hold. Hold it right here, flex the foot. Point the toes to reach the leg long and away. 
flex the foot to bring the knee or the to bring the foot closer to the sitting bone beautiful that heart is lifting up through the space between the shoulders three more just like this beautiful you guys last two good notice how much focus i need just to remember which way my feet are going last one next time your leg goes long point through the toes hold draw a tiny little circle itty bitty little circle for four good and three last two reverse that circle take it the other direction for three we're going to come up for our skater in two with control arm and leg come back to start beautiful keep your band where it is we're going to come up to our standing position i'm going to face you guys and i'm going to come onto the floor so i don't drag my mat around feet start about four or five inches apart in parallel just a little wider than our sitting bones we're going to start with one nice deep squat hold it right here hands come to prayer sitting bones are broad inhale to step your left leg away from you exhale to drag it back in inhale to take it out and across exhale to bring it back in we're going to add that rib rotation up and to the right and then dragging it back in with control inhale up and to the right exhale to drag it in beautiful you guys Whew. beautiful now focusing on trying to keep your hips square to your mat or to where whichever way you're facing beautiful following this fascial line that goes all the way up and around the body last three here last two on your next one hold it hold it here and we're going to deepen that rib rotation now notice are you peeling up that big toe second toe connection on your right foot can you find a stronger connection there for me it helped me find my medial hamstrings more towards the middle and that glute med connection for three good and two unwind all the way back to center so good you guys we are going to finish today with some Pilates push-ups. So come to one end of your mat, all right? Feet are gonna be about four inches apart. Now that blue band is optional. If you're done with it, get rid of it. That's fine with me. But if you wanna keep it here, it's just gonna add more connection to that lateral line. On your inhale, we're gonna sweep long straight arms up to the sky. Exhale, belly button draws up as we fold forward. Give me softness behind the knees. Now, we're gonna walk those hands right, left, right left coming to our plank lowering down into a push-up then stepping it back right left right left slowly rolling all the way to the top sweep those arms up good and then rounding the spine up and over we're going to lead with the left hand this time so left right left right plank position lower into your push-up left leads back then right left right slowly rolling it all the way up good next time it's going to be the right and i'm not going to count the hands out i'm going to let you guys do it belly draws up knees are soft as we fold it forward good meeting me in your best plank push up then stepping it back with the same hand that led before rolling all the way up to the top stacking each vertebra one at a time one more time this time it's going to be the left hand that leads so left right left right push up and then left leads us back good you guys slowly rolling that spine up one last time we're going to come back to our plank so give me the best one you've got lead which with ever hand is not your dominant side good meet me out in the middle hold it here now from here we're going to walk those feet a little farther apart good give me the best push-ups you've got beautiful you guys we're going to do six more you can do it we're here for four last three good last two with control soften those knees bring it in so good ditch that band take that band off so beautiful you guys 
Let's take a pigeon stretch today. Now, if you know this is aggressive in your body, you can always lay down and opt for a figure four. We're gonna take our right leg forward in front of us. We're gonna walk our back knee away from us, okay? And for some of us, we're gonna be just fine staying right here, really trying to open up the back of the right hip. Good, if this feels good to you and you'd like to take it down to forearms, you're more than welcome to. Now, instead of passively sitting here, imagine you're trying to draw your left sitting bone, I'm sorry, your right sitting bone back towards your left heel. Oh, that finds a deeper, more active stretch for me. Beautiful, you guys. Take another deep inhale all the way down to your big toe. Exhale as you start to come up. We're gonna add a little side bend here. We're gonna sweep that right arm up and out to the side. And then sweep that arm down. This time left hand is gonna sweep all the way up and out for a little side bend. And then bring it back down. Good. Curl your toes underneath you, step your feet back. Take a little down dog, press the hips, those sitting bones away from the hands. Maybe bend one knee as you reach the opposite heel for the floor. Good, you guys. And then coming forward, we're gonna take that left leg out in front of us this time. Back knee reaches down and away. If it feels good to stay here, be my guest. If you'd like to come down to forearms, absolutely. Now this time left sitting bone actively reaches right for that right heel, which is help, gonna help us find a little bit more activation through the medial line of the back of the leg. Medial meaning the middle. Nice, you guys. And then from here, coming up onto those hands, we'll take that side bend first on the left, and then bringing it back down. Side bend on the right. Beautiful, you guys. Hands come to the mat, step your feet back. Press those hips up and back one last time. And then you can either walk your feet forward or walk your hands back. Hang nice and loose, gentle bend to those knees. Maybe swing it out one side and then the other. And then when you're ready, we're gonna slowly roll ourselves all the way up to the top. Sweep those arms up overhead. Flex those wrists, send the room apart in two different directions. And I challenge you to go through the rest of your day that tall. Thanks for working out with me, you guys. Mwah.